My name is Faye Horak and I'm a director of the Balance Disorders Laboratory in the Neurology Department here at OHSU. Well, when I was in physical therapy school, um, that's when I decided I had to go on, get a PhD, and learn about how the brain controls movement. Because I saw all these people with balance and movement problems, and I really want to understand how it all worked. Well, I like to discover new things every day, and what's really amazing is I get to work with people all over the world to make those discoveries. Almost every neurological disease and many orthopedic problems cause balance problems. Um, of all the different kinds of neurological problems, Parkinson's disease is one that results in more falls than any other kind. But other kinds of neurological diseases such as multiple sclerosis and stroke also affects balance and it's important for those people to get exercises for their balance as well. Well, we're interested in learning how different parts of the brain are important for balance and how we use our sensors like vision and vestibular and our sensors in our muscles for balance control. And so you'll see someone standing on a surface that's moving and a little room that's moving around them. And that, and that way we can tell whether a person is very dependent on the muscle senses or the inner ear senses or the vision for balance control. One technology we're using and we're excited about is inertial sensors that are portable. They're called opals. You can put them on the wrist, on the body, and on the legs and you can record how the body moves when you're trying to stand as still as you can and measure body sway, or you're walking or turning or getting out of a chair. We can record very accurately these body movements and um, if there's any problems with those movements. I think what's really exciting is the technology is changing so quickly, it's getting less expensive and smaller to measure body motion. So I think soon, everyone, everyone in their own living rooms is going to be able to quantify their own balance in walking. So if they want to know if they're improving with their exercise program or if they have um, improving because of the medication they're taking from their doctor, then they can actually measure it and see it right on the computer. And they can monitor their own health by looking at balance and walking.